Hi everyone, today we're going to take you on a tour of MSC Seaside. This ship tour video was put together during our seven night Caribbean cruise in January 2020. MSC Seaside is the first ship of her class, entering service in December 2017 and weighing in at just over 153,500 tonnes. In modern terms, she's a decent size, offering a wide variety of onboard facilities and family fun. MSC Seaside enables her 5,331 guests to embrace the sea, sailing from destination to destination on the ship that quite literally follows the sun. We're going to begin our tour at the main atrium. This beautiful, light and eerie social space really is the heart and soul of the ship. Spanning over four decks, adorned with MSC signature Swarovski crystal staircases, this is the perfect place to meet and greet fellow guests, be entertained by the various events put on by the animation team, or to simply sit back and watch the wheel go by. On the first level of the atrium, down on deck 5, you will find the Seaside Reception Guest Services Desk. This is the place to head if you have any questions or queries during your cruise. Next, found at the base of the atrium's entertainment staging area, we have the Seaside Bar. Sat right in the heart of it all, this ideally situated bar is hard to miss, serving a wide variety of drinks and delicious cocktails. Found opposite the Seaside Guest Services Desk, we have the Future Cruise Sales Desk. We found this to be quite quiet, and the pop-up style desk upstairs seemed to be much more popular. Next door to the future cruise sales counter, you will find the MSC photo shop. During your cruise, the ship's photographers are always out and about taking photos of you. Remember that you're under no obligation to buy, so it's worth giving them a smile. They might just catch that perfect picture. You can review and purchase any of these photos using one of the handy photo consoles, or alternatively, you'll find printed photos on display at the Emotions Immersive Gallery, which we'll show you later on. Making our way up these beautiful stairs to deck 6, overlooking the seaside bar, we have the shine bar and lounge area. This bar and lounge is a perfect place to sit back and relax with a drink. By day you can enjoy views out to sea, and by night you can immerse yourself in all the buzz and atmosphere that the atrium has to offer. On deck 6, right next to the shine bar, you will find the MSC Excursions desk. This is the place to come and book your shore excursions, or to find out more about your upcoming ports of call. Try not to stumble up another flight of dazzling Swarovski crystal stairs, we now find ourselves up on deck 7. Here we have the pop-up style future cruise sales desk, which as we said earlier seemed more popular than the main desk downstairs, probably because of the comfy lounge area here and the added convenience of the champagne bar nearby. Next we're going to head over to the champagne bar. This stylish bar combines panoramic views with chic and glamorous settings, offering guests the chance to save the premium champagnes and extravagant cocktails whilst also soaking up the scenery. Here on Deck 7, you can also treat yourself to some retail therapy at the Watches and Sunglasses shop. Selling a wide range of premium branded watches and sunglasses, this is definitely the place to head if you're looking to upgrade those holiday accessories. Heading up these beautiful stairs once again, we find ourselves up on Deck 8, the uppermost level of the atrium. Up here we have Bistro La Bohème. Formerly a French-inspired bistro, this area has now become the Lavazza franchised coffee shop, selling premium coffees paired with complimentary cakes and pastries. Sat up here in these French-inspired surroundings, you can enjoy spectacular panoramic views out to sea, as well as jaw-dropping aerial views of the atrium below. Also on deck 8, tucked in the corner opposite Bistro La Bohème, we have the MSC branded gift shop. This is the place to grab some fantastic souvenirs such as ship models, bags, mugs, toys and many more MSC branded items and gifts. In addition to the beautiful Swarovski crystal stairs, the atrium also features two panoramic glass lifts found on either side of the entertainment staging area. Taking one of these lifts, we're now going to glide down to deck 5 where we're going to continue on with our tour at the art gallery. Art lovers will be pleased to find a wide variety of artwork on display at the art gallery found all the way forward down on deck 5. Simply admire these fantastic pieces, or why not treat yourself by expanding on your own collection? Heading afterwards, back towards the atrium, we find ourselves passing through the Emotions Immersive Gallery. 
This forms part of the ship's photoshop. Here you will find printed photographs taken by the ship's photographers, as well as cameras and other accessories. Quickly passing through the atrium, next on deck 5 we have the Seashore Restaurant. This is the first of two main dining rooms on board MSC Seaside. Serving breakfast, lunch and dinner, as well as offering a Mai Time Dining for guests with this option, here you can enjoy a variety of dishes sat comfortably in these stylish surroundings. Forward on deck 6 we have the Metropolitan Theatre. The Metropolitan Theatre spans over two decks and has a seating capacity of 934. Here you will find a variety of Broadway style production shows shown up to four times per evening, offering flexibility around set dining times. You can book your seats using the MSC for Me app, your in-cabin TV or the many interactive screens found all over the ship. <laughs> MSC Seaside has a wide variety of retail outlets selling various items and gifts, such as fragrances, jewellery and clothing, as well as many more branded must-haves. A retail hotspot can be found here on Deck 6 at the Piazza Grand. Should all of that retail therapy work up a thirst, shoppers will also be pleased to find a comfy lounge area in the centre where you can enjoy drinks during the day as well as live entertainment during the evening. Chocoholics will be pleased to find veggie coco gelateria and coffee bar right next door to the Piazza Grand. The wonderful smells of chocolate and coffee combine, luring you in with the heavenly aromas. This chocolate shop is the ideal place to grab some gifts to take home or why not indulge yourself by sampling some of the chocolates or other sweet treats on offer? Sit back, relax with the coffee and admire the many chocolate sculptures on display, or be mesmerised by the chocolate waterfall behind the counter. Leaving the Grand Piazza and Chocolate Shop, Heading aft through the atrium, next on deck 6 we have the Apanama Restaurant, which was our allocated dining room. The Apanama Restaurant is the second of two main dining rooms on board MSC Seaside and offers set dining only. As you can see the dining room is very stylish and comfortable. We were lucky enough to be assigned a table for two, however our table was so close to the neighbouring table we found ourselves chatting to the other guests as if they were our table companions. Not that this bothered us, as we all got on really well. Having dined here on a few occasions, we couldn't fault the food or service, and we really enjoyed the Italian themed night. It was loads of fun. Leaving the restaurant and heading back on ourselves, we make our way forward and up to deck 7, where we find ourselves at the upper level of the Metropolitan Theatre. As we've already covered this, we're now going to carry on at the Miami Casino. The Miami Casino has a wide variety of slot machines and tables for you to try your luck. With a bar in the centre offering delicious drinks paired with fantastic service, the whole atmosphere has a really pleasant vibe about it. We are not ones for fluttering with Lady Luck, but it has to be said, we spent a lot of time here as this bar was one of our favourites. Heading out of the casino and through the champagne bar, our next stop is the entertainment arcade. The arcade is jam-packed with a range of engaging facilities, such as a two-lane bowling alley, an F1 simulator, an XD cinema, an air hockey table and a range of video games. This is definitely the place to head for some serious family fun. MSC offer an entertainment pass. This enables guests to budget more efficiently and offer some additional bonus credits. The pass can be used in all facilities mentioned, as well as a zip line, which we'll show you later on.
Right next door to the arcade, partygoers will be pleased to find an American garage-inspired nightclub. The Garage Club, with its retro deco and lively atmosphere, gives guests the chance to dance the night away in funky, upbeat surroundings. We had loads of fun here. Also on deck 7, we have the Haven Lounge. By day, this lounge area is a nice place to just sit back and relax. By night, you'll find a variety of performances and events put on by the entertainment team here. Adjacent to the Haven Lounge, we continue ahead aft and find ourselves at the library and billiard room. As well as a billiard table, you'll find a small seating area here and a very small selection of books. Next we have the South Beach Bar and Pool area. We're going to skip this area for now, we'll come back here later on when we explore MSC Seaside's open deck spaces. We're now going to continue on with our tour at the MSC Aureus Bar. Found on Deck 8, the Aureus Bar offers guests a range of relaxing and rejuvenating experiences, so why not escape the everyday strains and stresses and head here for a little TLC. In addition to the various therapies offered, you can also purchase a pass for the spa wellness area. The wellness area has a comprehensive range of facilities, such as various therapy showers and thermal suites, a hydrotherapy pool, plenty of saunas and steam rooms, and not forgetting to mention a snow room. The wellness area also offers guests exclusive access to an open deck space on the port side of the ship which features plenty of lounges and a jacuzzi. A visit to the spa isn't just about feeling your best but looking it too. So why not take advantage of the services offered by either the onboard barbershop or hair salon, found just outside the Oris Bar reception. Wellbeing isn't all about relaxing and lounging about. For those who crave something a little more energetic, there's a fully equipped gym found right next door to the spa. The MSC Gym has plenty to offer. Kitted out with a large variety of techno gym cardio and weight machines, as well as a whole host of other equipment, it is the ideal place to burn off those extra calories that sneak on board. Heading out of the gym, we find ourselves walking through the gallery. The gallery is an open area forming part of the ship's retail space, used for pop-up stores and other retail events and promotions. The gallery sits between the sports bar and the Seaview Lounge and offers an impressive bird's eye view of the casino and Piazza Grande staircase below. Next, we're going to pay the sports bar a visit. The sports bar scores top marks when it comes to incorporating a very practical and well thought out bar with an engaging decor. With lots of TV screens to watch various sporting events, you can sit back fully immersed in the game with sports themed furnishings and props surrounding you. The bar itself not only offers great sports viewing, but also fantastic views out to sea through large windows running the full length of the bar. If you're looking for something a little more intimate, you'll find small private box like nooks which feature their own screens. Perfect if you want to watch sporting events with little distraction. Leaving 
the sports bar and heading across the gallery, our next stop is the Sea View Lounge. The Sea View Lounge is a relaxed and social space. By day, it's a great place to sit back with a drink and relax with a book. By night, it becomes a show lounge, offering various performances put on by the ship's entertainment. Just like the sports bar, large windows run down the full length of it, offering incredible views out to sea. Just tucked around the corner from the Seaview Lounge, as we head back towards the atrium, we have the fashion jewellery shop. Continuing on, next up we have another, yet smaller, excursions desk. Passing back through Bistro La Bohème in the main atrium, heading aft, next on deck 8, we have the Marketplace Buffet and Bar. Serving a wide selection of food and tasty snacks from across the globe, this is the place to head whenever you're feeling hungry. Open 20 hours a day, serving breakfasts, lunches, dinners and various snacks in between, you'll always find something good on offer here. Be sure to check out the daily programme, as on occasion you will find themed events taking place, such as the Pastry Buffet. MSCC side has two self-service restaurants, the Marketplace Buffet being the main one. In addition to its large seating capacity of just over 1,100 seats, it also features an outside dining area on the aft end of the boardwalk, allowing you to eat informally al fresco whilst taking in the scenery. MSC Seaside has two boardwalk style promenades flanking either side of the ship on deck 8. Thrill seekers will be pleased to find infinity bridges on either side. With their glass balustrades and glass floors, these bridges will give you a breathtaking impression of walking on water. Dashing along the boardwalk all the way aft, we find ourselves at the South Beach Pool area, which we'll explore in more detail later on, I promise you. For now, we're going to head up in one of the impressive panoramic glass lifts. We are going to continue on with our tour exploring MSC Seaside's upper decks. Decks 9 to 15 are passenger cabin decks. Our inside cabin was on deck 14. To see more in-depth tour of our cabin, check out our MSC Seaside inside cabin tour video. All the way forward up on deck 16, MSC offer a ship within a ship exclusive experience, known as the Yacht Club. Unfortunately, by this area being exclusive to Yacht Club guests, we were unable to access these areas to show you around. So now we're going to continue on with our tour at the Wine and Cocktail Bar. On deck 16, we find ourselves in foodie heaven at the Chef's Court. On entering the Chef's Court area, we have the Wine and Cocktail Bar. This is the ideal place to come for a drink before dinner, or to simply soak up some cocktails. We really liked spending time here, as it offered a really relaxed atmosphere, and the staff were fantastic. We recommend purchasing one of the dining packages, as they offer great value for money. Now let's explore the various dining options available. The first specialty dining restaurant we're going to visit is the Asian Market Kitchen by Roy Amiguchi. This a la carte restaurant pairs gourmet Asian creations with a stylish venue and incredible sea views. In the centre you will find a sushi bar serving the freshest sushi, sashimi and tempura. We had an a la carte meal here as part of our dining package. We enjoyed it so much we went back a second time. Here are some of the dishes we had. The Asian Market Kitchen also features a teppanyaki grill area. Here you can feast your eyes on the talented chefs as they cook with flair on the open grills. Making our way back through the wine and cocktail bar, we are now going to explore the second specialty dining restaurant, Ocean Key. At Ocean Key, MSC's signature seafood restaurant, you can enjoy specialities such as stone crab, lobster, sea bass, spaghetti with clams and other various seafood inspired dishes in an opulent nautical themed setting with fantastic views of the ocean.
The third and final specialty diner venue we're going to explore is the Butcher's Cut. At the Butcher's Cut you can enjoy juicy steaks and other premium cuts paired with delicious fries and sides in this American Steakhouse inspired setting. The Butcher's Cut is a firm favourite of ours and has certainly lived up to our expectations on MSCC side. Forming part of our dining package, these are some of the selections we opted for. Next on deck 16, we have the second of two self-service restaurants on board MSC Seaside, the Biscayne Bay Buffet. This restaurant can't be accessed via the food court area, even though on the deck plans it appears to be next door. You have to make your way up to deck 18 and then back down on yourself via the jungle pool. The Biscayne Bay Buffet is not as big as the Marketplace Buffet down on deck 8, however it does offer an ample array of tasty meals and snacks throughout the day, with the added convenience of being right next door to the Miami Beach Pool. Leaving the Biscayne Buffet area, next on deck 16 we have the Miami Beach Pool. We're going to take a more in-depth look at this area later on when we explore MSC Seaside's open deck spaces. For now, we're going to head up to deck 18 to explore the Jungle Pool. The Jungle Pool is MSC Seaside's indoor pool. With its jungle themed decor and beach overflow feature, this is definitely the place to head when the weather isn't too favourable outside. Having said that, this pool does feature a retractable glass roof so it can be opened up on nicer days, flooding the area with sunlight. Two hot tubs can be found on either side of the main pool. In addition to this, we find plenty of lounges and seating spread throughout the area as well as a jungle pool bar, which offers waiter service for added convenience. Even the jungle pool, we pass through a small recreational area which features table tennis. Deck 18 is where you will find all of the kids' club areas. MSC cater for all ages, ranging from tots to teens. There's plenty here for them to do, but unfortunately, for obvious reasons, we didn't have access to these areas on this occasion. So we're going to continue on with our tour at the Forest Aqua Adventure Park. The Forest Aqua Adventure Park is MSC Seaside's outdoor wet play area and aqua park catering for all ages. Little ones will be pleased to find a large splash pool, suitably sized water slides, water jet cannons and a giant tipping bucket. High up above the Forest Aqua Adventure Park, we have the Adventure Trail, a treetop inspired trail offering a bird's eye view of the splash pool below, which is perfect for the little monkeys. Kids and big kids at heart won't be disappointed with a more adrenaline fuelled range of water slides found towering above the Aqua Adventure Park, just behind the funnel. The first and fastest slide allows you to go slide boarding, offering guests the opportunity to compete with each other to see who can score the highest in this interactive slide experience. In addition to the interactive slide, racing slides offer those with the competitive streak the chance to race it out on one of two slides which extend over the side of the ship. Found higher up again, those with a head for heights will be pleased to find the zip lines. Found up behind the funnel, the two zip lines enable guests to soar high above the Miami pool and over the top of the ship on these 105 metre long zip lines. Found up on deck 20, just by the adventure trail, we have the MSC Sports Arena, an enclosed sports court area suitable for various games or to just simply kick a ball about. 
Just behind the MSC Sports Arena, there is also a handy lookout area, offering spectacular views over the Miami Beach Pool and out to sea. As promised, we're now going to take a look at MSC Seaside's open deck spaces. Unfortunately, as we said earlier, not being Yacht Club guests, we didn't have access to their exclusive areas, so we're going to carry on with our tour as far forward as we can up on Deck 19. Passing the retractable glass roof over the jungle pool, heading along the deck afterwards, as you can see there's plenty of lounges and a hot tub. Passing the funnel, our next stop is at the Miramar Bar. The Miramar Bar is the perfect place to sit back with a drink and get a breath of fresh air whilst also soaking up the scenery. Working our way aft and down onto deck 16, we are now going to take a more in-depth look at the Miami Beach Pool area and sun deck. To begin, we have the Miami Beach Pool Bar, which features plenty of seating and is ideally situated close to both the Miami Beach Pool and the Biscayne Bay Buffet Restaurant. There is also a gelato counter at the bar too, which is a really nice touch. Next up, we have the Miami Beach Pool itself. The pool is heated and also features a hot tub, as well as several comfy poolside beds. In addition to the poolside beds, you'll also find plenty of sun lounges spread all over the Miami Beach sun deck. We're now going to head over to the outdoor entertainment area, where a large screen towers high above a stage and amphitheatre. The deck space below plays host to various activities and events, such as stretching classes and quizzes by day, and silent discos and phone parties by night. Found on either side of the zipline dismounting platform, there are also nice quiet sunbathing areas, which also feature their own hot tubs. All the way aft on deck 16, towering 40 metres above the South Beach pool, we have the amply named Bridge of Size. You will find yourself gasping and sighing in awe as you cross this glass bottomed walkway, which certainly gives you an epic impression of MSC Seaside scale. Instagram junkies and photographers alike will be impressed by the bridge of size, as its popular hotspot offers a dynamic perspective of the ship's wake, which is the ideal backdrop for all those holiday selfies and photographs. We're now going to take one of the panoramic glass lifts down to the South Beach Pool area on Deck 7. The jaw-dropping view as you glide down the back of the ship really is amazing. Here all the way aft on Deck 7, we find ourselves at the South Beach Pool area. To begin, we have the South Beach Bar. This was by far one of our favourite bars on board MSC Seaside. The South Beach Bar has a nice relaxed vibe during the day. Bar servers take your orders and deliver your drinks, which is really handy when you're lounging around by the pool. By night, this area becomes very lively when discos and other upbeat events are usually put on by the ship's entertainment. On the opposite side of the pool area, we have the Venti Gelateria and Creperie counter. Here you can grab yourself some tasty gelato. There's plenty of flavours to choose from. This is perfect for cooling off on hot days or just to have as a treat. You are on holiday after all. Finally, we have the South Beach Pool itself. The South Beach Pool is an adult-only pool. It's nice and deep and perfect for floating around on your back whilst admiring the Bridge of Size towering above you. This is certainly a pool with a view. We had a fantastic cruise on MSC Seaside. We hope you found the ship tool really useful. If you did, please give the video a like and remember to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Enjoy your cruise!